Ja, und so herzlich willkommen zurück zu The Invincible. Weiter geht's. Auf unsere Suche nach dem Weg ins Camp. Ich sehe gar nichts. Und wir wahrscheinlich noch weniger als ich. meters in a straight line I, I see you can you hear me I just need to get down from here lass mal kurz schauen okay geradeaus oder links geht's aber auch irgendwo lang okay wait das war schlicht der richtige Weg Jetzt möchte ich kurz mal hier noch schauen, ob man was sieht. Shit, der Sturm kommt. Ich muss mich ein bisschen beeilen, wie es aussieht. Die Scotland ist über... 10 meters high. It looks like I could slide down. Ich habe den Weg schon gesehen, aber right. ich riskiere es. I want to see you as soon as possible. I'll take a chance. Ich hoffe nicht, dass das schlecht ausgeht. Nice effect. Love you. Oh, that was less than ideal. But I'm okay. The suit's fine too. Hier weiter in die Richtung des Lagers. Wait a second. Okay, manchmal hat's noch ein bisschen Visibility could be better. Graphic glitches. Maybe I should wait. Ja, wo denn? Alter! Holy shit! much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But I don't remember it. Did, did I black out again? Sehr komisch, was hier alles passiert. Jetzt sind wir viel näher am Ziel als vorher. Und 
What? Okay, schade. Dann heißt es dann wohl ab direkt ins Camp. Sturm das war. Unglaublich. Ist das richtig, dass ich hier zuerst halt nach unten gehe? Immer noch nichts auf dem Tracker. Okay, jetzt bin ich ein bisschen ruhiger. Was der Sturm angeht. Aber auch ziemlich dunkel. Nix. Komm schon. Und jetzt da hoch. Da hoch. Da hoch. I remember you, Regis Third Satellite. Mm -hmm. Astrogator, sir, crew, Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes. And yet we have detected no traces. No, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the words of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, don't you? I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae... But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. Mm, that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Mm. Anyway... We'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analyses? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. 
Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too, so we must await more. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis III is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean together with its crew of almost a hundred men. Professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cole. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage. Feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry. Not before an hour, or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Artyom to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you two. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis III. If any. Interessant. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? Gute Frage. Gute Frage. Und mit diesen Blackouts könnte es möglich sein, dass wir unseren Helm für einige Zeit verloren hatten. Oder einfach nicht in hatten. Und deshalb diese Kopfschmerzen und Blackouts haben. Weil ja offensichtlich hier viel Methan ist. Was über eine längere Zeit nicht so gut ist. Oh, thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. Okay, we have a signal on the tracker. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? That's not. Oh, it's just an Androbot. Androbot. Stop! Androbot, stop! Oh, what the? Uh. Ah, Dr. Gorski, have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms <laughs> without telling anyone? <laughs> Again? Ah, uh, well. Never mind. Oh, 
Uh, maybe if I... RT? Default position. Hmm. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. Hat er sich ausgeschalten? Sieht was so aus. from Regis hasn't left the water. Koval also. He, he said something about it. There's no fish in this. Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. Uh, Novik, is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still had time to examine the ocean floor. Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. My suit is pinching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate the void. We do everything to go further. See more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a... You're dramatizing, Koval. We have a job to do on this planet. When we get back, we'll enjoy water, sand, and whatever else our hearts desire. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Homesickness is simply eating me up. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, but the... Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Gladly. Koval, where are you going? Over. Probe in the water. For a little uh, 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 Quick recce. I'm going to take a look around. Distance, 100. Base, are you there? Mm. A, a recce? 300. I see no good reason. I won't allow it, Regis. Stay put. Copy that, Dragonfly. I'll stay dutifully at my post. 500. Damn me. Am I seeing this right? Dr. Crowther, would you please have a look here? Of course. Just a second. It's like a school of fish. This is life. What are they doing? They're moving away from us. Come on. We're talking about an artificial robotic gizmo. Right from the probe. As soon as I swim it closer to them, do you see what happens? Is this normal, Yasna? What do you think? It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. A catch at least one for examination. Then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Got it. What did you do? I had to electrocute him. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, Yasna. <laughs> Sehr komisch. Lebewesen auf einem Planeten, wo es kein Lebewesen geben soll. Hm. 
Hm. Naja. Ich würde sagen, das war's wieder von dieser Folge von The Invincible. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und ich sage zum nächsten Mal im Camp mehr um. Schauen, ob irgendjemand noch hier ist. Bis dahin, haut rein und tschüss.